Alright guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Uh, I had to get in the truck to do this video. One, because I got an annoying neighbor lady. Sounds like a dying cat. And she just kept screeching. Um, if you watch my last video of 5 things I like about my truck, uh, you'll probably hear her towards the end. Anyway, she's annoying. She always does a crap. Um... Anyway, so this video is going to be five things I dislike about my 2010 Dodge Ram 2500 diesel. This is, pertains to my truck. Um, these are my opinions, my thoughts. Uh, your truck might be different. My truck is my truck. And these are issues or things with this truck, this particular truck, and not all Dodge Rams. Your truck can have the similar problem. Um, but anyway... Let's get started. So, number one, this Uconnect radio. Um, this is a 2010. You would think that uh, it would have like Bluetooth integrated uh, stereo radio, but it does not. Um, it has Bluetooth, but only for phone. Um, or maybe I haven't figured it out yet. You can upload pictures, you can upload music. To, it has an internal hard drive. I want to say it's a 30 gig. 30 gig internal hard drive. Um, you'll just plug it in to the USB right here. Uh, you'll plug in a flash drive, whatever. It does have auxiliary. And I do run a auxiliary Bluetooth um, apparatus. little product that I found at Best Buy. Uh, like three years ago. And... Uh, insignia model number I don't know NS M B T K 35 I don't know anyway it works really good I like this little thing it's pretty cool okay so that's number one this thing I don't know get it I don't know how it works um only thing I can connect to my phone and through my phone is calling uh, mess, uh, no messages, no media, nothing. So maybe one day I'll get a new radio, something different. Um, but not right now because I think technology needs to improve on these. Because, uh, yeah, there's a lot more advancement, if, room for improvement for radios, for double dens. All right, number two. Uh, this is a three-quarter ton. It would be kind of cool to have a one ton because the mega cabs they they are a lot heavier. I wouldn't say a lot heavier, but the payload for a three-quarter ton um, for this particular truck. When I went to California DMV or uh, AAA to register it, ladies told me that I cannot carry more than 2,000 pounds in the truck. So that's cargo, that's me. So if I have four adults in here, 200 pounds each, each that's 800 pounds. And if I do dirt bikes, let's say I can even fit two dirt bikes in here at 200 and whatever, 20 pounds a piece, plus gear, plus fuel. Um, she told me that I'll get a big fine whatever I don't care she's retarded um but yeah so the payload for the mega cabs I want to say is like 500 pounds three to 500 pounds less for the mega cabs than like a long bed like my old 2012 so it'd be kind of cool to have a one ton but I don't so whatever it is what it is number three emissions um, if you guys watch any of my videos, you guys know I delete trucks, I make trucks run, vehicles run better, more efficient, uh, so I can get the longevity out of them. Uh, so every two years I have to put all the emission stuff back on, take it in for emissions, and do emissions, smog, whatever you want to call it. So, and, uh, yeah, it's... Emissions for diesels is, is really a bad thing. The EGR system is, is a very, very, very bad thing. The DPF is a very bad thing because 
you want engines to flow free flow and they put this filter in there that fills up and then the truck has to regenerate and build up a lot of heat which doesn't allow the engine to flow to breathe properly so anyway i don't know why they do it the the government epa the people are just a bunch of morons they're stupid um they want you to go electric so that these nuclear powers and coal power plants can pump out four billion times more emissions than if my truck didn't have emissions. Anyway, getting on a rant. All right, guys. So number four, this truck, this heated seat doesn't work. So when I get done with work, my back's tight, everything. I like to drive cars with heated seats. Um, this heated seat does not work. The cooling the cool cooling seat feature does work um so you got heat here so it comes on and then turns off which says it's either disconnected or it has a uh, short in it somewhere so it automatically turns off that's the cooled seat and steering wheel heated steering wheel whatever i live in california i don't need that um but anyway so like i said it's this truck um is what it is so number five i know you guys are gonna say something about it but for me personally this is my personal thing is black wheels i do not like black wheels on white trucks especially black wheels with all these weird little bolts like these wheel these bolts these allen bolts i think are fine these big bolts, that's, that's just dumb. I don't know. That's the stupidest. I don't, is it supposed to be a beadlock? Is it supposed to be a two-piece wheel? I don't know. I don't know why you would have beadlock look like a faux beadlock. And then you'd have these stupid bolts. It's like a, I don't know, RC car or something. I don't know. I don't like these wheels. Um... I'd like to go get them powder coated. Um, I like I like gold, but I'd rather do. So the gold didn't work out for my 2012 Ram. I had gold wheels. Um, you can go on that uh, down here in the description. Look up that playlist. It's the uh, Black Pearl. That's what I called it, the Black Pearl, because it had a glass rack, which were sails, and it had the Black Plague. Everything I touched for the first year, I would get this grease, grime, all over. Anyway, getting off subject, um, I eventually want to go get these wheels powder coated, um, like the Subaru World Rally Blue cars have those gold wheels, like a burnt gold, burnt bronze, I guess you can call it, or maybe even a bronze. I want to go get th that color on this truck. I don't like black wheels. Especially with those bolts and then the center caps are chrome. I don't like the whole look of that. Um, but anyway, so those are the five things I dislike about this particular truck. Um, I can't think of anything else. I had a hard time. That's why I went to the wheels. Wheels are perfectly fine. But that's the last thing I could find that I don't like about this truck. So, Alright guys, check out my other video of things I like love about my 2010 ram 2500 check those out and uh that's gonna be it for this video guys all right leave a comment below let me know if you guys have problems with your guys's trucks or if you don't or if you do um but i guess that's gonna be it thanks for watching subscribe comment give me a like a dislike don't matter just give me a view all right guys thanks for watching later